But I used to be homeless. I used to be homeless. I was homeless for eight years in El Paso. Homeless, living in a tunnel. So I already know how it is not to take a shower, how it is to go without eating. Because my stomach's been hurt a lot of times. And I have gone dumpster diving. So I already know what they're going through. And it ain't, it's no joke to be, to be homeless. Some of them get frustrated and get mad and man, I hate this life. James Hyatt says he's now using his social security to rent a modest place of his own. He's here in Santa Rita Park on Tucson's south side to visit friends. They come over here to get in the shade, to stay out of the sun because, you know, some of them, they're homeless and they're, there's no shade anywhere, so they come over here to get out of the sun. I mean, the sun is not, it's no joke. I mean, you go out there, and you don't got no water, and, you, and you're out there, you, I mean, you'll fall out. You can feel it when you ride the bike. When I, like I'm riding the bike in the sun, you can feel that heat pounding on you. You can feel it. I mean, it's just like an oven. There is one place where folks in need can go to get out of the heat, cool off, and rest. It's known as the St. Francis Cooling Center, now housed at Z Mansion in downtown Tucson. We're grateful to be at the Z Mansion. They're our host this summer uh, for the cooling center. This is our 10th summer we've had the cooling center going. We've been in different locations over the years, and this is probably the nicest ambiance we've ever had, although it's a little bit smaller space than what we're used to having. This one, cleaning supplies. For the past five years, the cooling center operated out of Central City Assembly of God, where they had more space and could more easily accommodate those in need. The last uh, cooling center we had, we averaged 80 folks a day, and we had, a little bit, we had a little bit more room where we were able to have about 35 cots, and those would often fill up, and then we'd have chairs along the wall. Brother David Bior is a Franciscan friar and the founder of the St. Francis Cooling Center. For the cooling center, I think the operative word is hospitality. It's a temporary place where during the summer, during the hottest months of the summer, where homeless people or anyone in need can come and get, get cooled off. A place where they're welcome, uh, can, can relax, and uh, stay here as long as they need to. We're open for four hours a day, so that's a good chance to get some rest and, and uh, re renew the energy. There's a restroom available. Um, and there's a limited amount of cots to lay down on or chairs to sit in, in air condition or out here on the back patio. And so to be, ha be able to have a place to come and cool off is really an important place, a place where they're welcome, because there's so many places where they're not welcome. Their doors open at noon and close at 4 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Brother David, as he is known, sees this work as part of his calling. And especially to go out, have our hearts go out to those who are um, the most disrespected, who are, the, who are the outcasts of our time. In the time of St. Francis, it was the lepers. And for here in our era, oftentimes it's the homeless. While they have less room, word has gotten out, and they are again averaging 70 to 80 guests per day. Z Mansion is located on North Church Avenue and owned by Methodist minister Tom Hill and his wife. This is just one of many ways they work to alleviate homelessness in Tucson. I was hungry, you know, and, and, and thirsty. I was looking for something cold to drink, and, and, and that's when I started feeling a little dizzy. 47-year-old Robert Lopez is homeless. A friend brought him here to get out of the heat. Yeah, no, my buddy right here, he said, there's a place we go to cool off. I was happy to go. I was a little hot. I don't got much as clothes, you know what I mean, covering me up right now, so I'm, I'm soaking in all the sun when I'm out there. The sun beats you down. I mean, every, everybody, everybody. Forehead shiny, you know what I mean? This, you know what I mean? The sweat, just look at them, They're tired. So just man, take their shoes off, you know what I mean? Cool their feet off. But coming inside here, it was just the the coolness just swallows you up. Just like if you went out to the heat, it just swallows you up. And, and, and this place is cool. <laughs> it's like an oasis in the desert. Sack lunches are provided by Carrie Dodd Community Kitchen. An unlimited supply of ice water and cold fruit punch are also on hand. It's a comfortably quiet environment with air conditioning and ceiling fans, where guests can read, converse, and sleep. A stark contrast to life on the street. It's just, it's, it's a brutal place. 
And then you got, and when you do lay down or go to sleep, then you got to worry about somebody going through your bags or whatnot. Carl Zawatsky is a longtime volunteer of the cooling center and the winter shelter. He knows firsthand what it's like to be homeless. I mean, I, I did my stint on, on the street years ago in Miami. Life and death sometimes. I mean, it really is life and death sometimes. No, we got five more boxes in you. know, if a person, they pass out in this heat, they're liable not to wake up. And um, so, you know, just, just that fact. And then you got people with a mental illness or they just don't feel good and they just want a place just to get underneath the tree or something. And then if they do pass out, it's like, we wake up, where's my bag? While this is a low demand shelter, there is an expectation of peacefulness and respect for one another. The most important thing is a nice, not only cool, but a safe and sane environment. So we go out of our way to, uh, to do that. If somebody is disruptive, you know, that we have an obligation for the rest of the people to nip that in the bud and just ask that person to move along. So if you want a safe and sane place to get off the street for four hours, this is the place to come. All are welcome, no questions asked. There is nobody checking nothing at the door. No IDs, what, it's humanity. You know, what, what's your credentials for coming into the cooling center? You're a human being in need, period, that's it. Men and women and dogs, even on our list over there, we have uh, men, women, and pets on the bottom. We knock, so every day a few pets come in too. The cooling center is primarily funded through private donations to Franciscan Ministries. Ten years in, this work continues but they'd like to do more. The biggest need we have right now, is, is, and uh, Z, the Z Mansion has been stretching to allow us to be here, and we're so grateful, and it's a smaller space. We, if somebody had a space that was air conditioned that was larger, well, we could welcome 60 or 70 or 80 people a day if it was somewhere not too far from the downtown area. It'd be a wonderful gift. Well, it's like this. It's like right over here, we got, what, five, six cots. Usually we got about 40. Ideally, it would be nice for to have at least 20 or 30 of these cots for a guy to come in and lay down. Take a two, three hour nap or something. Have a good one now. The streets are less harsh when we have more places like this. Our, our, our human needs are more than the, than the food and, and the water. We have human needs of compassion, of friendliness, a place where we're feeling welcome. And that's a part of our, um, our human DNA. And when that's respected, uh, love is even more present. For Robert Lopez, the cooling center allows him to carry on. I, I have no job, I have no place to stay, so all my energy is spent on trying to get the next meal and get to the next cool spot or, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, trying to survive and this place is just like, rejuvenates me, you know what I mean? Bring me back to life. So now my body, can, the core temperature can drop down and I can, I mean, when I do get ready to go, I can, I can continue my journey.